Hey guys, it's Christian from Solitec Solutions. In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to create multi-level terminal blocks. As you can see on my screen, I've got an example here of a two-level terminal block. And if we just go one further, I've also got one here of a three-level terminal block. So how do we how do we go about that creating them inside SolidWorks Electrical? I'm going to show you two different methods of creating them. And the first one is we're going to library. And we're going to simply add one under the classification terminal strips. Give it a name. Add some manufacturer. And don't forget to add circuits because it's going to be two levels. I'm going to add two circuits. We have the option to name the levels according to your company standard. For instance, and don't forget to add some terminal numbers as well. Once that's done, simply go to your project. And place a line. I just need one. Okay, so now for the multi-level terminals, I'm going to insert a terminal by clicking on the insert terminal button. And I'm going from here to that side. And over here, I'm going to click on the manufacturer part and circuits tab. I'm going to look for my newly created terminal. There it is. And I'm just going to simply select that and accept that. If I zoom in now, you can see that it has assigned the upper level to that terminal. I'm going to add it again, but now for the lower level. Very important here is instead of creating a new terminal strip X2, I'm going to select the pre-existing terminal that we've already had here and click OK. And if I now exit the command, I can now see that I've got upper and lower both on my um, wire. Let's go and have a look how this looks in the terminal strip manager. If I click here, you can now see that we've got only one terminal with an upper and a lower mark. And you can see that the cables are, or the wires are connected to the lower and the upper one. Another way of adding a multi-level terminal strip is by going to your location, right click, new terminal strip. I'm going to leave the name as X2 and click on OK. Right click on X2 and select edit terminal strip. First, we need to insert a terminal strip by going to the insert button up here. Next, we want to define the multiple levels. At the moment, it's only one. So right click on the terminal itself and select levels definition. Here, I'm going to type in three. Next, to give him a custom name instead of one, two, three, we can right click again and go to properties. We click on Manufacturer, Part and Circuits. And over here, we can select the level names. And click on OK. I'm going to close this screen and insert some wires. Three in this case, so that's good. Now, 
Next, I'm going to the button Insert and Terminals. So we're going to insert multiple terminals. I'm just going to draw that from here to there. Make sure you select the existing predefined terminal that we've created and click on OK. We do the same thing for the second one. So select the predefined terminal and the third one as well. I'm not going to click OK all terminals because then it will create multiple terminals. But we have one terminal with three levels. So we just simply click OK here. And once we're done, we can here see that it has the levels up, mid and low as we have predefined in our terminal manager. Thank you for watching, guys.